Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video of Power BI series, we discussed about the types of data sources that are available in Power BI. But in today's video, I will show you the challenge that we are going to solve. And throughout this episode, we will be working on this challenge. And apart from that, I will also show you how to connect or load a data source in Power BI, right? So this is the main uh, context of today's video. So let's go back to our challenge first. So let me explain the challenge first. This is the challenge that we will be working throughout this episode of Power BI. And we will see how we can solve this. So the challenge is who wins the motorbike competition? So background is we are an electronic retail company having shops in Delhi, Gujarat and Maharashtra. So this electronic retail company sells products like mobile, uh, laptop, computers and headphones. And we hire salesmen to work in our shops and sell our products. So details are, we have announced a price of an amazing motorbike to the salesman who, make the, who makes the most amount of sales. We have three motorbikes to give, one to each employee, making the most sales in each state. So from each of the states, one salesman will be uh, picked for the pricing. We need to find out which, which are those three employees that are eligible to get this motorbike. So the data set can be found in the next tab. So to solve this challenge, we have a data set. So this is the data set that we will be working throughout this episode. So here you can see we have date of sale, we have state, we have salesmen, we have product, we have quantity and we have sales amount. So with the help of this data, we will be solving this challenge using Power BI. So that is the uh, first topic. Now the second topic is so let me show you how to connect or read or load data source in Power BI. So let me go back to Power BI. So this is a home interface of Power BI. So there are three ways of connecting the data source in Power BI. So the first way is by clicking directly on this option, import data from Excel. Because this is an Excel file, so we will be, you can use this option to connect the data source. So apart from this, you can also use this option Excel workbook or you can click on this get data and you can click use this Excel workbook option. So there are three options to, to connect data source in Power BI. So we will be using the simpler, uh, simplest way. So I simply I will click on this and I will connect the data source. So this is our data source model one challenge. So Power BI, is, Power BI is connecting our data source now. So here you can see our data source has been connected. Now we have two tabs in our uh, data source, right? So one is the challenge tab and second is the sales data. So we don't want challenge the uh, data to be connected to Power BI because uh, this challenge tab doesn't have any values, right? So only data we want is the sales data. This is the raw data which we want to connect. So to connect this data, simply you need to uh, check this check uh, check this box here, so that you will get the preview of the data that we have in the Excel file, right? So so this is the data that we had in the Excel file, right? So once you check this box, you can simply click on load, so that you can connect your source data with Power BI. You can click on load. So once you click on load. Power BI will start the connecting process. So the connection is being created here. So let us wait till the data gets loaded. So here you can see our data has now been connected to Power BI. Now you can go to the data section here and click on this small icon. So here you can see whatever the data that we had in our Excel file is now visible in Power BI, right? So under data, you will find all the fields that are available in our Excel sheet. So, so you simply you can click on this uh, to get your data in the canvas. So if you want to look at the Excel data that you have connected, you can simply navigate to data view. So here you will uh, see, uh, see the same replica of your uh, Excel data right, that you have connected. 
So this is the data that you can uh, see in Power BI, right? So in the next video, I will show you uh, how to build a, a dashboard report using this, using the data sources that we have connected. So I hope you understood the process of connecting a data source in Power BI. If the information was useful, then please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.